What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute core and quad workout. We're rocking with some planks and squats and lunges today. So make sure you're ready with the good challenging weights that you have for things like your goblet squats, reverse lunges and step ups, which speaking of that, I want you to make sure you have a bench or a box to step up onto. And then also for the core portion, make sure you have a weight that you can pop on your back or on your sides for a weighted plank challenge and your sliders. I know I mentioned these last week. We're gonna bring them back out today to make sure you get a great core challenge. We've got three rounds through every single exercise. Some of them will be by themselves, like goblet squats. We'll start off at the top with goblet squats, three rounds through by themselves. So if you wanna load up for a front squat, you can also do that with a barbell. But we're gonna start there and then we're gonna rock into some supersets and then we'll rock into some circuits with three exercises and the core finisher is going to be epic at the end. So make sure you're using those 75 to 85% of your max weights dumbbells, and then also make sure you're working at a tempo that is two seconds down, two seconds up. So you keep that moderate intensity, making sure you're pushing hard and progressively overloading from rounds one to three. So making sure you either add weight to what you're lifting or you add intensity, okay? It's gonna be a good workout. Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, make sure you have given the video a thumbs up before we get started, and let's get warmed up. All right, let's go wide stance, hinge down in the middle. Two, one, let's go. Good job, one more and then come back up. We're gonna bend the right leg, keep the left leg straight, and switch. And switch. Switch it up, one more each side, here we go. Good job, hands down in the center, bring your heels in and sit. Open your chest up, drive the knees out. We're gonna slide over, knee pushing over your toe, just getting a little stretch in the calves and Achilles. Knee goes right over the toe, should feel the stretch here. Job. Last one. Perfect. Hands down. Let's kick the left leg back. Right leg is up. Lift and lower. There you go. Last one. Take it down. Keep it there. Twist over towards your front quad. Good job. Take it into a plank position. Nice flex. Connect with the core. Good job. Let's swing the other leg up top and we'll cycle through again. There we go. Last one. Take it up. And down, turn it over towards your front quad. Nice rotation here. Good job, both hands down, let's step it up into a squat. Head up and down. Good job, come up top, cross your arms over your chest. And we'll get started in about 25 seconds, three rounds of goblet squats, okay? So I want you to go at one point heavier in your squats through our three rounds. All right, Whew. you guys ready? All right, here we go in seven. 40 seconds of work here. Four, three, two, let's go. Two seconds down, two seconds up. Twenty seconds, good job.
Good, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, go up if you can. All right, 20 seconds to rest. So we go again in eight. Big deep breath in, five, three, two, let's go. Good work. 20. Seven. Good job. One more. And rest. All right, last round. Max it out here. Big deep breath. Okay, as heavy as you can go with good form. Seven. Three, two, let's go. Twenty. Good job, keep it tight. Nine, eight. Two, rest. Ugh. All right. Good work, good work. Grab some water. We're gonna head into forward lunges with a pulse. And we're gonna superset that with sumo squats with a heel lift. Okay, so we're gonna step forward, pulse, and back. And we'll switch legs. Okay, so alternating. We go in 10, five, three, two, Let's go. Good, very quad dominant here. And if you can, tap your knee down twice. Touch, touch, push. Good work. Eight, seven. Two, good. Sumo squats, heel lift at the bottom. So you're here, sit, lift, stand, okay? Start here, you can go heavier. One dumbbell or two. <sighs> A gobble squat got me out of breath. <laughs> We're going hard though, keep it up. Two, one, go. go. Might feel a little bit unstable. We're adding a challenge here from last week, so embrace it. Nine. Three, two, one. Back to your lunges. Good job. 20 seconds of rest today to make sure you're going heavy. All right, eight, seven. Lunge with the pulse. Three, two, let's go. This is all about your strength today. Your max push. Five, 
15. Yes, you're doing great. Come on. Three, two, and rest. All right, heavier if you can at any point. Sumo with that heel lift at the bottom. Make sure when you lift your heel, you don't lift it to the side. You're lifting it like it's climbing up your calf. Four, two, one, go. Good. Fifteen, come on quads. One more, five, four, three, two, rest. All right, forward lunges with the pulse and another round of sumos. You're doing fantastic. Six. Three, two, let's go. Nice job, 20 seconds. Last one. And rest, good. Last one here as well. All right, come on, keep pushing yourself. That's all I expect out of you. Keep pushing yourself. Whatever weight that is, up or down, push yourself. Four, two, one, let's go. Bring the ribs right back over the hips. Yes, good job. Eight, seven, two, and rest. Amazing. All right, second circuit down, moving on. Step ups. So you step up left, then right, alternating, and then front loaded reverse lunges. So, dumbbells are here, stacked up. You wanna hold it with two hands or with one. We're gonna step back. Boom, boom, and stand. Okay? All right, let's go step ups in 12. Big deep breath. I'm gonna start with my 25s. Three, two, one, let's go. Stomp your heel down and push hard. Don't be passive in this step up, okay? Own that box, own that bench. There you go. 20. Last one, go, go, five. Two, one, rest. Perfect, reverse lunges with the front rack. And in that front rack, you're gonna pulse. Okay, once you get back there, boom, then step back up. Seven seconds, whew. I know you guys are working hard too. Keep it up. Two, one. Whew. 
And think about just pulling yourself back up on top of your heel. Lots of demand out of your core right here with this front rack position. 10. Two, one, all right, let's go. Round two, step ups. Good work, okay? Make sure you're aggressive with this step up. Okay, don't just get up and kind of passively put your foot there. Stomp the heel and get on top of your heel, heel with your hips. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> yes, there we go, 20. Come on, go heavy, go heavy. Big, strong strength here. Eight. Two, rest. Good job. All right, reverse lunges with that pulse at the bottom. And you can do two dumbbells or just one, but I do want the weight in front of you. Four. Three, two, let's go. And I'm still using that heel stomp mentality. So I'm putting my foot down and then driving my heel through the floor. Good job. 12. One more, three. Rest. Whew. Okay, last round of step ups. Show me, more importantly, show yourself what you've got here. It's about you, not me. I'm just here doing it with you. Hands are like strong hooks. Four, three, go for it. Come on. You are the boss of this box or this bench. Twenty. Go for it, six, two, one, rest. Good job. Reverse lunges, last round. Four, two, one, let's go. Good job. 20. One more each leg. Let's go. Seven, six, two, rest. Ah, beautiful. Okay, we're still rocking. You're still doing great. You're breathing. You're walking around for a second. You're breathing. Okay? We've got three exercises left in the lower body portion. We're gonna go circuit style. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're done with legs. We move on to core. <sighs> okay? Yoga block burnout. <sighs> Wall sit. 
and then a squat pop, okay? So yoga block burnout, heels are on top, wall set. You can find a wall or you can just hold here, stationary position, then we're gonna have a pop squat. Boom, boom, okay, that's it. It's easier said than done, I know, but in 13 seconds, yoga block burnout. Add weight if you want. For round one, you can go body weight and then advance it from there. Four. And let's go. Two seconds down, two seconds up. Try not to spend too much time hanging out at the top, okay? Your, all of your time is spent in the middle. Nine. Two, one, all right, find a wall or just stand here in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna just stand. And if you can, put your dumbbell here. If you're not able to hold it here, it's just going right here. Five seconds. Breathe deep, you're doing great. Two, one, sit. If you're on the wall, make sure you're not leaning over your quads, okay? Ball of your foot is into the floor. Your tailbone is against the wall and your whole spine is against the wall. Okay, if we're standing here in the middle, we don't have the luxury of back support, but you gotta keep those hips low, okay? Making sure you're not lifting them and your chest to the same height. <laughs> Feels a lot better here, but we get the work done here. Four, three, rest. All right, pop squats in 20 seconds. I'm gonna hold one dumbbell here. I'm stepping out to the side, I'm gonna tap, little step or skip over, okay? Same thing here, don't leave your hips up. Chest is up, hips are down. Three, two, one, let's go. There you go, and if you can tap the floor, bonus points for your quads. Twenty. Try and look up. Nine. Two. Rest, okay. I know that did not feel great. But we're getting stronger. All right, keep it up. Eight seconds, yoga block squats. And let's go. Work hard, come on. Make this workout work for you. You're not just spending time, you're getting the most out of this time. 15. Hips and chest rise together for seven. Three, two, one, good job. Here we go, wall sit or standing squat hold. Shake it out, come on. We got this. Five. Two, one, let's sit. Back is strong. If you're on the wall, press everything against the wall. Press your toes and your ball of your foot into the floor. Oh. 
10, come on, come on, come on. You're mentally right here, this is it. The only thing you're worried about. Rest, good. All right, squat hops. Oh, side to side. Finish out round two right here. Walk around, sway it out. All right, let's go, five. Two, one, come on. A little quicker, so we should be getting more reps in per working set than say a regular sumo squat. Good, 20. Oh, my Atlanta. Okay, yoga block squat. Let's close it out. If you haven't added weight or increased your tempo, you gotta do it on this one. Ready? Five, come on. You got this, you're doing good. Two, one, and let's rock. Down, two, up, two. Two, one, rest. Whew. Wall sit. Whatever you got left, pour it out in these two exercises. Five. Two, one, go. Breathe, come on. Sit, 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 keep your butt down. Even if your body says, let's just lift it, it feels a little better. Keep it down. You're over halfway there and I want you to make it through this whole working period. Seat it. You can do it for 10 more seconds. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Five, keep the butt down, keep it down. And rest. Okay, last bit of legs here. And then we're gonna lay down on our back for three minutes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Almost there. 40 seconds a leg, that's it. Two, one, tap it out, go. 40 seconds of legs, not per leg. Good. Push off your toes, up, up. There you go, you're already in the second half, come on. Look up, look up, look up. 12. Don't stop, give me one more, two, one, rest. Okay, anyone else give it everything they had? Amazing job. We're rocking into our core. Go ahead and have a seat. Lay it down on the ground, on your back. Oh, great work. Grab water too. Okay, rocking into our core. We've got some planks, we've got some rotation, and we've got some straight up just rectus abdominis work, okay? We're gonna start with the third option. Legs are up here, hands are overhead, middle, okay? So let's go in 15 seconds. If you wanna grab a dumbbell to add on to that, you can. 
Or you can do that in round two or three. Three, two, come on. Think of a diagonal right through your shins, okay? You're lifting shoulder blades and then you're controlling them down as well. Let's go five more seconds, four, three, two, rest. Give me your right elbow on the ground for a side plank. Okay, and then we'll head back to the exercise we just did. If you wanna add a weight, feel free. Two, one, let's go. And I always kinda wedge my top shoe against the sole of my bottom shoe. So I've got a good, strong, long body. And you're just kind of fighting against the weight or gravity here with your hips, okay? Hips wanna drop down, you want them to reach for the sky. You got 15 more seconds to reach them a little higher. Two, one, we're back down onto our back. Whew. Good work. Now, taking the legs up, gonna reach to the side. Side. Okay, so you're not shooting through the middle. If you need to stabilize, put your feet down. Sit up and twist before you get all the way up. Let's go. Two, one, give me your left elbow, side plank. <sighs> Great job. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, press up. Good job, same thing here. Hips are fighting to reach for the sky. And you're fighting against the weight of how tough that is, okay? It's not easy, but you're strong. That's why you're here right now at the end of tier number two. Come on, 15, go up, up, up. Seven. And rest. Whew. One more time on your back. We're going side, middle, side. Okay, so we twist to the left. Then come up, go straight through the middle, twist to the right. Keep that going for 45 and we're done with this exercise. Come on, let's go. Fifteen. Two, one, regular plank on your forearms, 
Load it up if you can. All right, weight on your back if you are able. Two, one, let's go. Good job. 20. Nine. Four. Rest. Okay, grab your sliders if you have them. Great work. We got three rounds of slider plank work, okay? I'm gonna show you your options. And we're going 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. I just want you to last through all three rounds, okay? So grab the sliders. You're on two feet, okay? First option is just to bring it in nice and slow. So let's start right here, two, one. When you bring it in, make sure you're not putting weight on that front leg. All your weight stays right here in your hands. With the slider, as you bring it in, your hip lifts. You use your abs to do that. Back out. Good, now the option to take a big circle. Up and out, up and out. You can stay doing what you were doing or you can do this. Stay in that plank. And rest. 15 seconds to rest. All right, same thing. Four, three, two, let's go. Now lift a little bit as you bring your foot in, okay? Try and get the hips a little higher. There you go. Pike it up, pike and plank. Good job. Lift it up, come on, up, up. Two, one, rest. Great job. All right, last one. Drop it to your forearms. Here we go. Three, two, one. Side to side if you can. Good. If you can open both legs, let's do it. Twenty seconds. Come on. Whew. Ten. Can you go a little quicker? Three more. Three, two, one. Drop to your hands and knees. You have made it to your cool down. Don't forget, grab your vacation tickets before you head out, so we can work out together July twenty-second, and give the video a thumbs up if you're here and you crushed it. <sighs> Don't skip this cool down. Stand up, I'm gonna get you off your arms. <sighs> okay, we made it. <laughs> Shift your hips to the side. <sighs> I'd love for you to come work out with me in person to celebrate closing out tier number three. <sighs> Have a summertime fine and then join me to really celebrate your journey. Honestly, that's why we're doing it, is for you to have something to look forward to, something to celebrate, working hard, shift sides. Because I know not everyone has that support system where someone says they're proud of you or they can tell that you're working hard and you need that. So I wanna celebrate you. All right, 
hands on your tailbone, push forward. If someone hasn't told you that recently, I'm here telling you. I would love to tell you at vacation. I would love to surround you with people who get that at vacation. And more importantly, I want you to leave with connections that will be able to tell you, great job, you're doing great. I feel you, that was hard, my quads hurt too. Just need community, we are meant to be in community, okay? There's been a lot of research done on what people are the happiest, people with a good support system. So if you don't have that, I wanna give it to you at vacation. You will meet people that you will not lose touch with, I promise. You'll meet people there that you can work out with. And when you're working out by yourself after vacation, you can envision those people. You can text those people. You can message them. Oh my gosh, what'd you think of that workout? Sydney is crazy for that leg workout, which I will agree if you're talking about today. But seriously, it's just about you, okay? It's about you making those connections and about you feeling supported in your journey so that you never feel like it's not worth it. You never feel like you need to give up. You never feel like no one cares. No, never feel like people don't notice that you're working hard. Especially when it's so physical like this. You just want someone to be like, good job. You did great. Okay? So, before you head out, check out everything in the description. We're starting tier number three, the final stretch of Summertime Fine, and it is all about strength and conditioning. So we're bringing our friend cardio back in. We're bringing some conditioning. We're bringing shorter work periods in. You have to get your workout calendar to make sure you know what's coming so you can plan ahead so you do not miss a day, okay? You have to be able to see, in my week, here's what it looks like. I know this workout is 30 minutes. I know this workout's 45 minutes. I know this workout's whatever. Here's what time I have to get up. Here's where I can fit it in. I have to do it because I have to finish strong. That's what the calendar is there for. You know if you've got a glute workout and you need to fit something shorter or longer in, you know what's coming at least, right? So grab your calendar in the description. Grab your Fitcation tickets in the description and make sure you engage with the video in some way. Give it a thumbs up or comment. I'm so proud of you. Keep stretching, keep foam rolling, and I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great job, everyone. Tier number two, crushed.